Hey there, Jules here. In this video, let's resolve the issues with the in-stock, out-of-stock product status filtration. So yes, you can filter the products by status, in-stock, out-of-stock with the help of the JetSmart Filters plugin. Let me guide you through. First of all, you have to create a filter. Name it. Provide the labels. Pick the filter type you need. Select the manual input at the data source. Alrighty, now we have to put there the needed values. To find and grab these values, go to the products. Open one. Pick the product's data as a simple product if you have another option previously set. Proceed to the inventory tab. Here is the stock status. And here you have to grab the stock status values. The common mistake that you might have faced is that you copied the wrong status values and paste them into the option values or into the query variable field. Just forget about it. That was the wrong way. Now we will learn how to make it right and pretty much simple. The proper way to grab the value is to open the DevTools, inspect the stock status field, the needed line with the data appeared, then click the drop down arrow on the right from this line. Voila! Below are the needed product status values. Stock status, in stock, out of stock, on back order. Just copy and save them whenever you like, one by one, starting from the stock status. Then go back to the needed filter with the manual input. In my case, to that one I created before. Add a new option, in stock. Fill in the label. Grab the next value, out of stock. Paste it into the next option value field and the label itself. Next is to set the correct query variable for the filter. That was in this line, in the DevTools, stock status. Save the changes. Proceed to the page in the Elementor page builder and add the filter to the needed widget. In my case, it is the JetWoo Builder products grid. Set the previously mentioned provider, then the apply type and other settings if you need to. In my case, I will add the indexer. Let's see it works on the front end. Filter it and all work just fine. One more time. To put the needed values into the filter, you have to inspect the product status and grab the values from the DevTools. That's it. May the Crocoblock power be with you.